god, oh my 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 god. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is what I look like when I wake up, and um, it's not the best. It's just not, it's just not the best. So I'm gonna do a 10 minute glow up, which includes my hair, okay? Because most of these videos, people just do their makeup, but I'm doing the makeup and the hair, okay? I'm just going to frantically go through what I do when I wake up and I'm like, holy shit, I have to go to class or whatever, work. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do when I only have 10 minutes to get ready, which is, Pretty often because I tend to wait till the last minute to get ready or wake up late or whatever. Alright, let's get right into this video. I'm setting my timer for 10 minutes. Please don't, please don't judge my phone, which has been cracked for quite a while now. Um, but for some reason, I just don't care about getting it fixed. But yeah, um, can you see? I hope you can see. Alright, let's get started. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out! First thing I do is moisturize. I always try to use a moisturizer with SPF. So we want to try to protect our skin from the sun as much as possible. I wish I had done that a lot more when I was younger because now I'm starting to get all this discoloration on my face that I'm going to have to pay to get lasered off. Listen to your parents when they tell you to use sunscreen. I like to put a little bit down my neck as well. Eventually I'll invest in a nicer moisturizer but for now while I'm in college and pretty much broke, um, I'm gonna use this one. All right, I'm gonna use a primer and just prep my skin. I'm using the Fenty one. Um, I just picked this up recently and have been really happy with it. It makes your face literally feel like a baby's bottom. I'm going to blend that in and just try to focus it on the areas of your skin, obviously, that you have like, oh God, what is that? Oh my God, it's a, it's a crust. Areas of your skin where obviously you might have be a little bit drier or just have a little bit trouble with your foundation, like if your foundation tends to lay a little bit weird near your nose or whatever, then focus your primer there, especially when you're in a pinch. Boom, boom, oh shit. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow. Oh my God, I'm so panicked. I feel like I'm actually in a panic state right now, but this is how I feel most days when I wake up late, so it's fine, it's fine. So I'm just going to quickly go in and fill in the obvious gaps. Um, I'm not going to spend the time I usually do to do like a perfect brow and sculpt it all out because we just we just simply don't have the time of the luxury of time to do that. I don't know if you can even really tell the difference between the two. I surely can, but I just like to oh that one's a little too pointy. I just like to go in and fill like the obvious gaps and if you have trouble brows that take a long time, um, maybe a pencil would be easier. I don't Pers I don't personally like pencils very much. I just think they, I don't know, they're just not for my brows. Um, but it's always an option for when you're kind of in a pickle. Okay, that's it for brows. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Let me check my time. Oh, <laughs> it's only been three minutes. I thought it said that um, I only had three minutes left. I was like, how? Okay, next up is foundation. I'm going to do this Juice Beauty foundation. And I'm going to shake it up real well. Um, I really love this foundation. It's really, really beautiful. It's a little bit light for me, actually. So I'm going to do a tiny squirt of some Fenty in it. But just blend up whatever concoction that you have. If you're in a rush, I always recommend going straight for the brush. And just start buffing in your foundation, like, right away. Foundation is good to go. Now I'm going to do some concealer. I feel like this is actually like more important um, step than the foundation just because it really helps to cover up like those things that you in particularly want covered up. And that's what I need on the rig. Oh, put a little bit of this on my nose and then just cover up these bags. These not designer bags, these are just bags. <laughs> Especially when I'm in a rush, I like to take my concealer and just dabble it on my eyelid because I'm just going to pop a really quick eyeshadow color on there. Um, and it just makes you look more awake if you just conceal that area. You know what I'm saying? Check my time. I have four minutes and 50 seconds. I don't have time to answer your text. 
All right, so concealer is done for the most part. Ugh, look good. Uh. All right, there's still a little something on my chin showing through, but I'm gonna have to let her show through today because she doesn't wanna be covered. Okay, you wanna try to quickly set whatever you can. I just try to set the areas that I know for me tend to get a little creasy, um, which is under my eyes mostly and around my nose. It just gets like a little bit oily there, so I just like to set that area. And then I pretty much just let that kind of soak in my face while I finish up. We're going to do some bronzer because <laughs> I look like a ghost. I'm gonna go in with this Fenty bronzer um, and just do a little on my cheek here. I don't know why I even start on my cheek because I basically end up putting it all over my face, but we'll start here for good, good intentions. A little bit on my hairline. Bronzer always just like really helps make you look refreshed because if you just throw on some foundation, you're just going to look flat and that's not what we want. So give me the only flat I want is a flat way. You know what I'm saying? A little contour, try to hide that double chin in a pinch. But then what I do is take a eyeshadow brush and I just go right into the bronzer that I used, um, whatever that might be, and I just put a little bit of it on my eyelids. So I try not to spend too much time on this, but I just think it helps to have like, you know, just a little bit of color, just a little bit of something on your eyelids. Because that way it makes it seem like, wow, like she really took the time to do her eyeshadow. <laughs> but I didn't. All right, next up I'm doing... Um, Mascara and oh, I like to curl my lashes a little bit before. I actually just got this mascara um, as one of the Sephora gifts. You know, and they're like, you have 10,000 gifts. Would you like to have a swipe of mascara for everything you've bought from us? That's one of these. And it was actually really funny because I had like, I think I had a thousand points actually. And I wanted this one thing, and the girl was like, no, 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 no. That's your option. Box number two. And I was like, oh, excuse me. So I got this mascara and I kind of like it. It's all right. It does the job. Let me get a little closer here. Oh, check the timer. I've got three minutes left, which is perfect, actually. We're doing better than I thought I would. I always say if you only have like five minutes to get ready, just do like concealer, some mascara, and like a little bit of lip gloss because that makes such a big difference. I'm doing some blush really quick. Oh god, that's way too much blush. Abort. Okay, abort mission, abort mission. Blend it out. We are going to blend it out. What I do is a lip really quick. I try to do a lip that has a little bit of color in it because it kind of gives your face something like it looks like you really tried. One minute and 26 seconds left. Okay, all right, it's time to do this hair. So what I do in a pinch is I basically just take my hair down. Um, this is, I think, like day two, maybe three hair, so it's definitely a little bit oily. All right, I'm going to turn on my curling iron, which I should have already done, but, you know, I didn't. Let that heat up for a moment, and while I do that, I'm just going to brush out my hair and do a little bit of dry shampoo action. Oh, God, it's greasier than I thought it was. <laughs> I like to use this Acure dry shampoo, um, but use whatever you got. And just basically style your hair where it's gonna go. So mine's gonna go on this side, and I'm just gonna brush that out. Ooh, girl! Okay, I need a little bit more of this underneath because it's looking a little bit like. I really like this one because I feel like it's really quick and easy to use. I'm just not a huge fan of aerosol sprays like choking me out first thing in the morning. This will do. Once that is done, I basically just go look at my hair and go in and do a couple curls. I definitely don't like <clears throat> totally redo my hair every single day, but I just like to touch it up really so it looks decent and it looks like I attempted to put a little bit of style into it to make it look like, wow, she really tried to do her hair today. Like, wow. Like, wow. I usually try to touch up the front especially so that it looks nice and fresh, you know, fresh. Uh, is that it? Is that all I have? Okay, one more piece. Let me look at my clock. Okay, it looks like I have about 30 seconds left. Left, oh my God. All right. 
there we go. And if I ever have time, which I usually don't, I'll do like a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks. A little lip gloss so my lips don't look dry as pie like they do right now. That's what I do to get ready for the day. All right, all right, five seconds left. Um, it was quite stressful. I was definitely in fight or flight mode on the inside. This is pretty much what I do in a pinch. Um, I feel like it's not that hard. It's pretty easy. I don't ideally like to put myself in this stressful situation. I like to give myself like 30 minutes to do my makeup or even an hour if I'm really feeling like a full beat. But this is just what I do um, when I'm in a pinch. So yeah, this is my 10 minute glow up situation. So I hope you guys like this video and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!